What's going on players, haters, and mama makers? It's your least favorite duels here, back with another video. Today's just gonna be a quick one, hopefully. I'm on my lunch, so I don't wanna like take too long. So, um, like I said, the new uh, structure deck came out and and um, I've been trying it out with the Stardust Dragon and whatnot. Um, this is the current build I'm running right now. In the replays, you're gonna see a couple different synchros that I was trying out. Um, so right now we're running a bunch of Lava Golems and, um, Cosmic Flares to just annoy the opponent. So what Cosmic Flare does is you, you, uh, you hit this on a Stardust Synchro Monster and, um, at the start of the damage step, they, uh, send monsters back to the deck. Really strong card with Stardust stuff. Also running Stardust Respark, so if a Special Summon Monster attacks you for lethal, you can activate this card and then negate the attack and summon a Stardust Dragon from your de from your extra deck or graveyard. The rest is um, pretty similar to what I've been running in my other builds with the Serene Psychic Witch. So let's just get into the replays, okay? So like I said, the Synchros, I have been changing around. I've been running like Red Dragon Archfiend here and there and like other stuff. But um, yeah. Really cool structure deck. I wish um, there's a little bit more. It feels like it's missing something. And like uh, the Psychic Reflector guy is like pretty much your turning point in the, the games. So he's he's very vital. So it looks like we're playing against the old um, the Waifu deck. I should have looked at the replays before I started, but whatever. Okay, we're playing Waifu Gravekeeper. So right now, what I did is I, um, when this Psychic Wish is sent to the graveyard when it's destroyed, you can banish a Psychic Monster, and then on the next standby phase, it special summons to the field. So there we go, we're going to summon our Psy Reflector, and then we're just going to start the combo. So we're going to make a, it looks like a Stardust Dragon. Okay. We're going to smack that, uh... Descendant out of here, and he's gonna special summon it again with Headsman. Thing is, Stardust Dragon, um, it can banish itself to negate destruction effects, and then it comes back at the end of the turn. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just negate. Bada boom. Okay, it comes back. There we go. He could have got another attack in there, but I guess he didn't. He chose not to. So we're just gonna pound him with some Assault Beast and Stardust Dragon. Looks like he's going to Magic Fusion into Quintent Magician. So the thing is, is he didn't have five different, um, he did not have five different named spellcasters, so the destruction effect did not go off. And even if it did, we could have negated it with Stardust Dragon. So what he's going to do here is he wants to smack me in the face, but I'm going to activate Cosmic Flare here and just send it back to the deck. So there you go. No worries. And then I'm just gonna put this guy in defense just in case. Cause we drew another cosmic flare, so it doesn't even matter. We're activate cosmic flare again, send this card back to the deck, and then just smack him in the face. Easy peasy. Um just do note that when you are playing with Psy Reflector that um it is very weak against the old uh it's very weak against gravekeepers. Once they get Necro Valley out, it's pretty much a wrap, like your whole combo is shut down because Psy Reflector pulls the monsters out of the graveyard. So I would suggest maybe running Cosmic Cyclone with it. All right, so in this build here, it looks like I, I ran World Legacy Clash. I've, I've just been experimenting with back row. Um, so if you didn't want to use the like that Stardust Trap card, I would suggest maybe running like I guess you can technically run Treacherous, or a enemy controller, or just, you know, anything. So right here I'm just going to probably set a bunch of stuff, yep. Now what I always do when I duel, oop, sorry about that, my girlfriend's sick. So what I always do typically is I don't ever set cards that I like, that I need, into the middle. Most people hit the middle when they, when they do stuff, so that's just a little trick that I do. So I'm not going to ever run... Um, assault mode activate in this deck, so I just always set it just to kind of throw them off. Since I have already another one in hand. 
So right here, I remember this duel. He's gonna make this freaking, uh, this rock man. He's gonna make it like boulder man right now. So he's just gonna make it like super thick. So here comes the super thick. I'm gonna check this out, okay? Okay, so it has freaking 10,000 attack right now. So I'm just gonna world legacy clash that. All right. And then I'm gonna powerful rebirth. And I'm probably going to get um, my Vermilion Dragon back here, I believe. Okay, no, I just go to Scrap Dragon. Okay. Same, same kind of idea, you know. So, he had Grit. Um, I remember when I was doing this duel that uh, I was like, I thought my game froze. I had completely forgotten he had Grit. So, he banishes my, uh, my Assault Beast, which is pretty annoying. Um, and I know he like blew pretty much everything at this point, so I just gotta pretty much survive. I draw, I top deck Cosmic Flare and just smack him in the face with my Witch. Okay. So there you go, like, the deck can function if you get your combo off. It's just a matter of, of getting that combo off with your Psychic Reflector. Um, if you don't, then the deck pretty much does not function at all. So, at all means, like, I probably would run, um, maybe World Legacy Clash, for sure, potentially. So, he's got the man who blazes it a lot. He's gonna grab a... Smoke that poly. Okay. So, I had two rebirths. Didn't really matter. Alright. And then, I guess, let's see what I do here. I'm just setting up the combo. So, the combo is, uh, Psy Reflector into Assault Beast, you grab Assault Beast, you discard Assault Beast for Assault Mode, and then you use Psy Reflector's other effect to grab Assault Beast out of the, the graveyard, and you make a Synchro. So we got Red Dragon Archfiend here. Okay, and I guess we're just gonna Powerful Rebirth for the other Assault Beast and just smack him in the face. So you see, like, I'm not really using the boss monster, um, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. It just doesn't seem very viable to me. Um, I think that was three replays. Yeah. So here's the last one. This is, I remember this one. This one was against the Lords of Dark. So. Yeah, I, I would say, like, I, the back row is very experimental. Um, I, instead of using Mark of the Dragon Head, I've been using Level Dupe, since I have, like, um, a bunch of level 4s and stuff. So you can actually Level Dupe your, uh, your Psy Reflector to make them a little bit bigger and go into, like, Star Eater and, like, some other big Synchros. So right here I'm just gonna bring out my... So he just pulled a bunch of cards, made Desire, sent my Witch to the Graveyard instead of destroying it, which is pretty obnoxious. So, um, it needs to be destroyed. It can't be sent to the graveyard. So he's just going to send it again. Right here, I'm just going to go into, um, Stardust Charge Warrior, try to draw a, car a card to get some more plays going. He Noblemans, which I haven't seen in a while, since, like, TCG. He Noblemans my enemy controller, sends my Stardust Charge Warrior to the graveyard, and then he's just making me feel bad right now. So I do have a Psy Reflector in hand. He doesn't have the trap card in the graveyard to negate effects. So I'm just free to do what I want. And now I'm gonna make, I think, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend here? Yeah, Red Dragon Archfiend. So he's gonna go and uh, bring back Nastin. I'm gonna smack him in the face. All right, here comes some more Dark Lord action. He brings out his Uko back. He's going to send something, another banishment to the graveyard. All right, he's got his um, trap card. And then this is where I'm just going to... So if you see what's in my hand right now, you know he's going to be very upset. So here comes a Lava Golem. Boom. Lava Golem. Get rid of all... And that's why I'm running Lava Golem. It's just super annoying. I bring out Psy Reflector, he just decides to quit because he couldn't really do anything. And that's it. So that's the deck. Um, that was 
one version. So just to show you real quick before I get out of here, um, what I did was instead of running Stardust Respark, I just did this. Did it like this. I'll just show you. I had it like this. World Legacy Clash. I also played a couple games with enemy controller. So that's kind of the other way I had it. But yeah, you guys can decide what to do. I'm just playing for fun right now. So I'm running the Stardust Respark. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a... Oh yeah. And then the back... Uh, the extra deck. Since I had like VMech and Scrap Dragon. I was running both of them. But instead of Scrap Dragon, I had... Um, had Red Dragon Archfiend. So it looked kind of like this. So I originally was running it in the replays. It was like that. And my idea was to Lava Golem them and then just bring out Red Dragon Archfiend to uh, beat over the Lava Golem or to have a Cosmic Flare and to send it back to the deck. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next video. I guarantee you I'm going to be making more with uh, the Stardust Dragon combo. But until then, deuces!